Welcome to the 30th episode of the Reading and Writing Podcast. I'm your host, Jeff Rutherford. Stay tuned for my interview with Ken Harmon, author of the new book, The Fat Man, A Tale of North Pole Noir. Well, this is uh, Jeffrey Deaver, author of, uh, most recently, The Burning Wire, and uh, soon to be author of the next continuation James Bond novel. I spend a lot of time writing, a lot of time researching my books, um, but uh, when I'm not doing that, I, I love uh, listening to the Reading and Writing Podcast, which you can hear at readingandwritingpodcast.com. Welcome back to the Reading and Writing Podcast. My guest today is Ken Harmon, author of the new book, The Fat Man, A Tale of North Pole Noir, available in bookstores now. Ken, welcome to the podcast. Thank you, Jeff. I'm happy to be here. Sure. Well, when I heard about The Fat Man, I was immediately intrigued by the idea. A noir mystery novel featuring one of Santa's elves, Gumdrop Cole, as the protagonist. I've described the basic premise, but can you describe what a reader can expect with The Fat Man? Well, the the basic premise is uh, Gumdrop Cole, he's one of Santa's elves at the North Pole, and he gets framed for murder in a kind of uh, homage to the, the old uh, hardball detective uh, novels uh, by Raymond Chandler and Dashiell Hammett. And um, I think uh, readers who, who like those old uh, hardball detective novels will appreciate the parody and, and how... Uh, setting them in in a world that's it's you know usually kind of known for for lightness and 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 happy and sugar plums sitting it sitting bringing out the shadows from from the streets of Kringle Town. I think that they will enjoy that quite a bit. <laughs> Great. Well, I I know that a lot of writers hate the idea. Where did you come up with that idea? And I usually never. I, they usually hate the question. Where do you come up with that idea? And I usually never ask it. But in this case, I'm curious, do you remember when you first had the initial idea for The Fat Man, or was it something that you kind of developed over time? Uh, a little bit of both. I'd always liked doing, um, toyed with the idea of of doing a hard-boiled detective parody. Um, I work in advertising, and so it seemed, you know, I was always trying to, to fit that kind of language into a, a radio commercial. and And one day I was thinking about Santa and if there was something I could do with Santa and and, and Santa getting revenge uh, on someone really isn't in his nature but I I thought well one of his his helpers could get in, involved in in some kind of noir adventure and then I just just all those ideas of of notes I had had over the years for for a detective novel just came came the front of my brain, and, and I, I put them in this world at the North Pole. <laughs> That's great. Well, since you did write a mystery featuring one of Santa's elves, I have to ask you some, some Christmas questions. Uh, sure. Do you have a favorite Christmas tradition in your family? Um, not not really. The The only one that that I can say is a, is a true tradition on, on Christmas Eve. My mother makes um, oyster stew, and people in the neighborhood and, and extended family come around, and, and we all hang out there. But we, we don't have a, um, a, a very uh, traditional – we don't have a, a standard tradition in the house. It's not very Norman Rockwell. Well, well the oyster stew sounds good. Yeah, yeah, it's very good, especially if you put enough hot sauce in it. Yeah, really. Well, what's your favorite Christmas movie? Favorite Christmas movie, uh, I think, would have to be It's a Wonderful Life. I, I didn't see that uh, until I was in my late teens, and, and I just like the idea of it. And, and, it's an, I, and, and the characters from that movie I do play with in The Fat Man, uh, especially in the second half of the book. Right. And what's your favorite Christmas song? Oh, I think, um, gee, I, uh, I think I like I'll Be Home for Christmas. It's, it's just always been uh, a favorite, and it's, it's kind of got that little tinge of melancholy to it. And, um, and a number of years ago, I, I edited a, a, a television package using some of that music and for some soldiers who were overseas. And I've just always been drawn to that one. Great. 
Well, given the unique concept behind the Fat Man, I'm curious what kind of reactions you received when you started pursuing publication. Were agents and editors enthusiastic, or did you face a lot of skepticism? No, this this is what I'm I'm that one in the in a million uh, story you hear about, and probably uh, others hate to hear about. <laughs> uh, I. I had written another novel and it wasn't going anywhere and and so I worked on the fat man while I was trying to sell that one and I finished it and I knew that a novel took about a, a year to get into publication and it was it was right around December of 2009 and I said I'm just going to send out a few query letters this morning and I wrote a query letter and I sent it to about four agents that I had researched, and within a couple hours, one of them had written back and asked to see the manuscript, and three weeks later, he sold it. Wow. So, <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> so it seemed like it happened quickly. But, uh, it you know, did happen quickly. Uh, yes. <laughs> but, you know, all those, all those false starts and, and misfires from, you know, 20 years before, you know, I like to factor into it too. Exactly. And and you mentioned earlier that you do work in advertising and you write ad copy. Had had you and you mentioned that you were working on an, an earlier novel. Have you been writing fiction all along, kind of in addition to your you know, the writing that you do for your day job? Yes, I would well I would I would start things and, you know, I I'd get a good head of steam and, you know, go for about fifty or seventy pages and then get stuck. And, you know, try something else, try something else. And, and that went on for years. And then I finally came up with a, a, another idea and it, it just seemed to, to carry itself along and I was able to complete that. But nobody was really interested in that. And then when I thought of the Fat Man idea, I, I, you know, I had some momentum going. Well, I, I've done one and I, I kind of know what to expect now, um, going into it and how long it's going to take and, and the process. Uh, it, and it wasn't as intimidating, you know, as, as starting all over again. And and so um, I think I think working in advertising throughout the years has helped because you have to write every day and you have to literally construct things one sentence at a time. And that's that's what I finally learned is how how you had to approach a novel just write it one sentence at a time. And kind of um, following that, I was going to ask you what what advice you may have for someone who's listening, who who's an aspiring writer and trying to get their work published. Um, well, I, you know, don't be afraid to 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 try it, and and you have to finish it. I think if if you're if you've got an idea that you think you can finish, go ahead and finish because. But the fun part comes when you get to do that second draft and and really clean up a lot of things and and play with it just but just get that first draft down just just get that done and then um there are a lot of great websites out there about um that can help you find agents who who are accepting new ideas and and will help you find the agent that's looking for the kind of story you've written and um just do your research and, and write your query letter and, and hope for the best. Great. Well, what's up next for you? Are you writing another Gumdrop Cole novel? Uh, no, no, not, not as of yet. Um, you know, one of the things that happens when you, when you are lucky enough to, to get something published, then, you know, other people are involved and, and they want to give input as to, to what you're going to do next. And so I've, I've given them, um, several ideas of, of, uh, that I have for, for other books and they are, um, pondering those and, and we are discussing what we think, uh, should, should happen next. Great. Great. Well, again, we've been speaking with Ken Harmon, author of the new novel, The Fat Man, a tale of North, North Pole Noir. It's available in bookstores now. Ken, thanks for doing the interview. Thank you, Jeff. I was happy to do it, and, and thank you for having me. Sure. This is Lee Child, and I'm listening to the Reading and Writing Podcast. 
Thanks for listening to my latest interview. If you like what you heard, I would really appreciate a review of the podcast in iTunes. It's really simple. All you have to do is go to the iTunes store, and it takes a minute or two to leave a quick review of the podcast. And that way, more people can find the podcast, because the more reviews and ratings a podcast has in the iTunes store, the more they feature it and the more prominently they feature it. So hope you enjoyed the interview. Until next time, read some good books and support your local independent bookstore. And I'll be back soon with another interview with a writer that you enjoy reading.